Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Tabbat yada abi lahab wa tab. Ma aghna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab. Sayasla naran zata lahab. Wa amra'atuhu hammalat al-hatab. Fi jidiha habnum min masad. In this video, we will explore the beauty and miraculous aspects of Surah Al-Masad, also known as Surah Al-Lahab. This Surah contains powerful messages that are relevant to our lives today. Let's dive in. Verse 1. The first verse of Surah Al-Masad mentions Abu Lahab, the Prophet Muhammad's uncle and one of the most vehement opponents of Islam. It says, May the hands of Abu Lahab be ruined, and ruined is he. This verse is a warning to those who oppose the message of Islam. Tafsir ibn Kathir According to the famous commentator ibn Kathir, Abu Lahab was one of the wealthiest and most influential men in Makkah. He used his wealth and influence to harm the Prophet Muhammad and his followers. Ibn Kathir also notes that Abu Lahab was so opposed to Islam that he even went as far as to promise to give his wealth to anyone who could rid him of the Prophet Muhammad. Verse 2 the second verse of Surah Al-Masad says, His wealth will not avail him or that which he gained. This verse highlights the fact that despite Abu Lahab's wealth and influence, he will not be able to save himself from the punishment of Allah. Tafsir Ibn Kathir Ibn Kathir explains that Abu Lahab's wealth and influence will be of no use to him on the Day of Judgment. He will be alone and helpless before Allah and his wealth and influence will not be able to save him from the punishment that he deserves. Verse 3. The third verse of Surah Al-Masad says, He will enter to burn in a fire of blazing flame. This verse describes the punishment that Abu Lahab will face in the hereafter. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir explains that the punishment described in this verse is one of the most severe punishments in the hereafter. It is a punishment that is reserved for the most wicked and evil people. Conclusion Surah al-Masad is a powerful reminder of the consequences of opposing the message of Islam and the importance of following the path of righteousness. It also serves as a warning to those who would use their wealth and influence to harm others. May Allah protect us from the punishment described in this surah, and may He guide us to the straight path.